Hi, this is Trevor with Blue Chip Techs. This video is an overview on how to apply for a hot tub spa permit with the City of Winnipeg. We're going to go over all of the information that you'll need and all the forms you'll need to submit for this permit. So if you're watching this video, it means you've received this email here. We're just going to go through it shortly. So at the top, we have the reminder that a spa permit and electrical permit is going to be needed for your hot tub that's associated with the deck. These two permits are not included within the scope of our contract and these are something that the homeowner will need to apply for themselves and or the electrical contractor. So we can read here the electrical permit will need to be taken out by the electrical contractor who's hooking up the tub and the spa permit is an application that you'll need to complete yourself. Now the items that you'll need to submit for the spa permit, we're going to need the application, a lot plan, potentially construction plans, and potentially the hot tub specs. So the first thing is the application form, and we can pull that up here. Now the application form is pretty straightforward, and at the top here you can just enter in your street number and street name. Uh, your name, email address, address, and phone number. Since you're applying for this, you can just exclude the contractor information section. You don't need to fill anything out there. Value of construction, you can just put the cost of your spa, area of structure. You can just uh, fill in what the square footage is of the spa. So if it's a seven by seven, you can just put 49 square feet. Type of pool, so you wanna check off hot tub, is construction access over city property? You're going to put no um, because it's more a question related to pools. There's not a whole lot of construction access required for a hot tub. You just roll it in and, and install it. And then here we have additional permits. So it's saying if a hot tub is being installed, will it be installed in an existing deck? Yes or no. And it's also asking will the electrical permit be applied for by yourself or by a contractor? So if the hot tub is just sitting on the ground or on a concrete pad, then is it being installed in a deck? You're just going to check no. If the hot tub is sitting on top of your deck or if it's sitting on top of a wooden platform that we're building, you can check yes. It's not an existing deck because we'll be building it, but as far as the city is concerned, it's the same thing. So if it's on top of a deck, you check yes. If it's on the ground, you'll check no. Description of work, you can just write a brief description, um, something, install a, you know, insert brand name, uh, seven foot by seven foot or whatever the size is spa in backyard of list your address um, you can just keep it pretty brief now the required documentation so the top one here it says one copy of the owner statement if uh, if you're applying for this permit then you don't need an owner statement so you can just disregard that we're gonna need a copy of the building location certificate so that's like the lot plan that's something that will produce for you but when you receive it from us you will need to add in these additional dimensions yourself so if we pull up the lot plan it'll look like this here so this is what you would get from us it shows the house it shows your property it shows the location of the house on the property it shows where the deck is this is just an example right it shows where the deck is and it shows where the spa location is in relation to the property lines so when you get this, you'll need to draw on the additional dimensions they ask for. So they're saying you need a lot plan with the property dimensions, and that's included. Locations and size of all other existing accessory structures, that's included. And location and size of the proposed pool, in this case spa, that is included. Distances from the pool sides to their respective property lines, that's included. So this is what you're going to have to draw onto the lot plan yourself. You'll need to draw the location of the driveway you'll need to draw the location of the pool equipment the hydro meter construction access um, you can just write where the gate is that they're going to bring the hot tub through and then the location of the fencing including five foot high self clothing gate and latches so this is um, requirements that the uh, the city has for if you're going to put a, a hot tub in your backyard there's certain requirements that you probably have uh, went over with the hot tub supplier but you just need to note on the plan the location of the fence, where the gate's going to be, etc. This section here you can just disregard. It's for pools. And for this bottom section, it's saying that if 
the hot tub is sitting on top of a deck. The following additional ponds are required. You'll need a copy of construction drawings, uh, including the dry weight, water capacity, etc. So if your hot tub is on top of a deck or a platform, then we will also include the um, structural drawings. So as an example for this deck here, we have the structural drawings, including the uh, framing and where the hot tub is located. We have the the pile layout, so you'll get a photo like this. We have a section, so you can see the construction where the hot tub is going to be placed. And then lastly, you'll need to provide the, the city with the hot tub specs, as they ask for here. They ask for the including dry weight, water capacity, etc. And this can all be found on a spec sheet, so this is just an example of a, one of the spas that um, one of our customers had from the last year. And on the spec sheet, it'll show the size, it'll show the water capacity, it'll show the weight, dry weight, filled weight, etc. And you can just attach the spec sheet usually to the application um, as it has all this information. So going back to the email here, these are the things you'll need. So what you'll get from us in this email is you will get the application form attached, and that's here. Um, you can fill it out as described. You'll get the lot plan, regardless, that you will need to add additional information to. If your deck is on, if your hot tub is on top of a deck, then you'll get a construction plans, and you'll also uh, attach this email, and then you'll need to include your hot tub spec sheet. So you can fill everything out, compile it, and head to this link here and at that link it will tell you how and where to apply um, additionally that's also listed here you may submit your application using one of these options once your application is submitted um, and approved just please let us know and try and get this submitted before construction starts as the inspectors that are going to come look at the deck will require the hot tub permit to be in place during the deck inspection. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to let us know and have a great day.